I would probably put a bunch of this on here, like find the head again. Just to get this thing so I can float. And it's just alcohol. Just alcohol in that. You can use the blending solutions a little fast. For what I'm doing right now, I want to have a little more control. Sometimes I don't want control. This time I will. So I'm just going to put a little layer of that in there. And I like to do a lot of pouring too. And you, this stuff goes a long way. I pour a lot and uh, I don't have a problem. And then we got some blue sky. I start at the top because I want to dock at the top and at the bottom. More natural. So now I'm going to spritz again. Here comes my sunrise or sunset. And it's a smooth background. Oops, sorry. That's right. See how I'm doing that? Mm -hmm. So I want all those mocks. Looks like. If you need more spritzer, you just use more spritzer. Beautiful color changes. Mm -hmm. Make great abstractions. Yeah. So I'm I'm trying to get as filled up the uh, back as I can. You can wiggle it. Keep dancing it around. <clears throat> and we'll let that dry a little bit. Then we'll do some magic. So, this is Yupo paper and uh, the alcohol inks. So it's evaporating. It's getting there. It's starting to dry a little bit. I like all that going on. You can see how you get a lot of organic shape too, if you like that. See? You can drop color into that too. You're never done. Make one area more intense. Let it just sit there and watch what it does. You can use a brush too to move it around. So there's nothing you can't do. And if you can think it, do it. That's when the magic happens. Homogenize it a little bit. Pretty. Okay, so let's say I wanted the moon in there or the sun. Let's take a little alcohol. Let's see if I'm, I'm still pretty wet. I gotta wait till it dries before I can do it. Just work it a little more. I mean, look at the pretty, you know, all the cloud effects you're getting. You can keep putting alcohol or blending solution on it. Blending solution will make it run faster. Alcohol is a little slower, so you can control a little. I'm gonna put an ocean in there. As long as we're waiting. I'll put the sun over here. Warmer than the blue, it'll come forward. So now I'm going to do some painting, I'm making the sea. I'm doing the dock area first. this color does stain so if I want to lift I want my dogs towards the back
and I'll use a yellow brush. And I'm going to come in here with the yellow and just sing it back and forth. So that will be the reflection from the sun. We'll throw her in there. I'm still wet, so I have to wait a little longer. Is that blending solution you're dipping? Your I'm using in? alcohol for that, but I'm going to use blending solution for blasting that sun in there. There is a difference in the solutions. Um, the blending solution is is like dynamite. It really bangs through, and it also is more powerful than alcohol. So you really need both for you know really manipulating. Is a difference between the two. A lot of people don't realize that there is a big difference. And, It's 91%. It has to be 91. It will not move for you if it isn't 91. It'll be just dead in the water. So what alcohol is to alcohol ink is what water is to watercolors. And I can come down to my dry palette and come in here and get more lines. See, now I can control it. It's not just going wherever it felt like. I'm, I'm telling it where to go now. You see that? Yeah. I'm gonna try and paint upside down. All right, here's a trick. <laughs> here's a trick. Okay. Looks like my uh, pretty good. I'm gonna use some of this blending solution. I'm gonna put it in one of these welds. That's what's so good about this palette too, is that you've got all these welds to do different things in. And I don't like those egg cup ones because it's just they ride it rides up ink will ride up the sides. They runs up the sides here. But I I have more control. I'm on a little bit of a control freak. Okay, we'll make the sun be right around here. This is blending solution. This is not alcohol. Watch the difference. So now I'm going to blot it. Okay, ready? And I just come with my dirty brush and I can give it a little more of a shape. Shape it back. Now by blotting it, you just stopped it. I stopped spreading. it from running and I also brought it back down to the bottom again. It's close because you see how it stains? Mm -hmm. It does stain. So, but I can go back into yellow and reinforce it again and play around with it. So you're never stuck. You can go back and forth as much as you want. I also use snow, um, snow cap to whiten as well. Oh, okay. yeah. So the trick with snow cap, because it's kind of gooey, is if you use a lot of alcohol and blending solution in it, it'll tame and it won't be gooey. And you'll have a really nice, uh, coverage. So on this one here I'm going to go a little darker around the edge because I want this to really blast. So I'm shaping the sun. I'm going to turn it for a minute. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. That's really pretty. So I, I talk, you know, I talk to myself as I paint, and I say, "Oh, look at that! That looks good. That means leave it the heck alone. <laughs> it means come back in a minute if you want to change anything." But you know, when you talk to yourself when you're painting, and you say, "Oh, that looks good," leave it alone. You'll come back. You can change it. But sometimes you're done and you don't realize it, and this way you have a chance to, you know, to, yeah, to change your mind or whatever. Think about it. A little color down here. So this is a really easy one for a beginner to do. And you can keep lifting and coming back and forth. So these are Tim's new colors as well, by the way. You can see how pretty that is. It's a nice little sunset, so to really make it beautiful. I like life. Like I said before, I like life in my paintings. I'll take a little black and mix it with a little blue. Or the, the blue. And I'll put in some birds. 
we say could make it look a little harder for you those of us that <laughs> <laughs> it's ad lucad to do yeah well you could make it look a little harder. thanks for watching be sure to give our video a thumbs up and subscribe to scrap time videos on youtube in the meantime here are a couple other videos you might be interested in, in watching see you next time bye bye